I didn't know he was quarantined, officer. No flags were flying at all, as you just saw. Well, that's your bad luck, Zoran. Whether you knew or not makes no difference. You're infected. But I'm innocent. I'm completely innocent. I'm... Get quarantine flags up right now, Zoran. Ahoy there, everyone. Today's profile video is a double whammy, as we're covering both the Coast Guard and his messenger, Davy Jones. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get started. The Coast Guard serves as an authority figure in Tugs, and it's the show's main representation when it comes to law enforcement. He can usually be found in the estuary, inspecting and questioning ships arriving into port. But he also overlooks large-scale operations, such as the demolition of the old docks, as seen in Warrior. Despite his rather small size, his authority is widely respected throughout Big City. His supervisor role in Warrior side, Coast Guard has two episodes in which he plays a significant role. The first is Quarantine, in which he scolds the sleazy tramper Nantucket for not having his quarantine flags up, and by extension, arrests Zoran, placing him in quarantine due to possible infection. His second major role is shown in the episode High Winds. Here, he is rammed into the rocks by the tramp steamer gangster Johnny Cuba. He would later be rescued by Zebedee, before questioning him as to Cuba's whereabouts, and eventually arresting the criminal off-screen. The Coast Guard does not work alone though, and has a messenger who goes by the name of Davy Jones, although he is never referred to by his name in the TV show. Jones makes a cameo in the show's pilot episode Sunshine, in which he is seen escorting Lily Lightship out of the harbour. Speaking of Lily, Jones is the one to inform the Starfleet of her predicament in the episode titled Regatta. His final noteworthy role takes place in Quarantine, in which he speeds through the poor, nearly colliding with OJ, and in turn causes the old paddle tug to have an accident, which then leads to the Fulton Ferry sinking. The Coast Guard was voiced by Lee Corns, while Nigel Anthony lent his vocal talents to voice Davy Jones. I don't have any major thoughts on these characters, they serve their purpose well enough throughout the show, but I wouldn't have been opposed to seeing more being done with them. After all, one of the things that made Tug so special was how well it flushed out its side characters in addition to the main ones. In terms of Thomas and Friends counterparts, the Coast Guard reminds me of other semi-prominent authority figures that we see throughout the show, such as the Thing Controller, or even the occasional police officers that have popped up over the years. As for Davy Jones, no idea. I'll let you guys decide on this one, as you've all been great at providing insight towards these characters' comparisons. After Tug's production ended, Coast Guard's model would be repurposed and used in Thomas and Friends, eventually receiving a repaint with a new grey livery. Davy Jones also supposedly received the same treatment, but I wasn't able to find any images of this. If any of you have spotted Jones's model in Thomas, please feel free to give me a shout. And the list of Tug's characters left to cover grows ever smaller. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed this instalment in the series. I don't have any real updates for you guys, so until next time, I've been Cinders and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!